All right, friends, chapter two, quiz review, number 14 through 17, the directions say, determine if the conjecture, remember conjecture is just another word for the conclusion, or conditional is true or false. If false, give a counterexample. So if anything is true, there's going to be no counterexample that exists. So if you put true, don't put anything for the counterexample. If you put false, you have to provide evidence to discredit the statement. All plurals end with the letter S. And so there's way more than one of these, but a lot of, if you wanted to come up with examples, a lot of plurals do end in S. Penguins, dogs, humans. What's a counterexample though? Deer. Deer or geese or anything like that. This is plural, but it does not have an S on the end. And so that would be false. So you could say deer, you could have said geese. I'm gonna put et cetera here because there's way more than one. All you need is one though to discredit this statement. Not all plurals end with the letter S. That is false, that is incorrect. All right, if an animal barks, then it is a seal. We immediately know that this is false because what does a dog do? A dog, at least my dog, barks. Seals do bark, um, but dogs bark as well. The difference, remember the word difference means to subtract, between two integers is always positive. So some examples might be like six minus two equals four. That is true. But what if we reversed it and did two minus six? Well, two minus six is negative four. And so that is not that words like always, that fails this example. That's a counter example. So this is going to be false. If a figure is a rectangle, it has exactly four sides. So let's go ahead and draw that out. Um, if it's a rectangle, it has exactly four sides. That is 100% of the time true. Um, if a figure is a rectangle, it has exactly four sides. It's true. If rectangle, then boom, four sides. Now, if it said it the other way, and if it said it four sides, then rectangle, that would be false. But for this case, it is true, so our counterexample is going to be not applicable. All right, so for each statement, write the converse statement. If a true biconditional statement can be written, write it. Otherwise, provide a counterexample. So they give us a conditional statement. Let's see if it's true or false. If two angles are vertical angles, a set of vertical angles, then their measures are equal. So let's draw that out. If, if in doubt, always draw it out. So we have two lines crossing each other, lines M and N maybe. That creates vertical angles. The vertical angles theorem says that um, vertical angles are always equal in measure to each other. And so that is going to be true. So let's see what our converse says. Here's our if, here's our then, here's our blue. Two angles are vertical angles. I'm kind of editing that on here. Then their measures are equal. So what does the converse say? Remember, converse is going to be if Q, then P. So if yellow, then blue. If, so we have if, you could say this two ways. You could go ahead and just say if their measures are equal, or you could say if two angle measures are equal, okay? So if two angle measures are equal, just makes a little bit more grammatical sense, but it's totally fine if you just say if their measures are equal, the purposes of this being geometry, then two angles are vertical. Then the angles, the two angles are vertical. So there we said if yellow, then blue. Okay, we just made it a little bit more grammatically correct. Totally fine if you just said if their measures are equal, then two angles are vertical angles. That is also going to be, let's see if two angles measures are equal, then the angles are vertical. Ooh, that is actually going to be false. That is false. Just because two angle measures are equal does not necessarily mean that they're vertical. So here's an example where um, they would be 45 and 45. Those are equal. Those are also vertical. But what if we took a 90 degree angle? So it says provide a counter example. What if we took a 90 degree angle and cut it in half? Well, now all of a sudden we've got two congruent angles, but those angles are not vertical, okay? So we cannot write a biconditional. The biconditional does not exist. 